We need teacher. Hello, Ronaldo. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Yolanda. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? How are you? Uh, a little sleep. <laughs> okay, a little sleepy. Me too, right? <laughs> and Yancy, how are you? Well, teacher. Oh, you are very well. That's nice. Um, how was your day? How was your day today? Exciting, busy, amazing, incredible. Uh, very busy. busy. <laughs> very busy. Okay, lleno de trabajo. Ni acordarme quiero, teacher. Ya. Uh, no, I put a feliz. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, that's very good then. Well, it's raining here. Can you tell me if you can? Uh -huh. If you, you can hear uh, the rain sound? Sí. Yes. Can it's raining. Ah, okay. Acá está lloviendo un poco fuerte. Quiero saber si escuchan el sonido. Sí, yes. sí. Yes. Uh, no, pero aquí también donde yo vivo está, está lloviendo fuerte. Sí, está lloviendo sí, fuerte. Sí, por ratito se viene bien fuerte, ¿verdad? Me, me sí, escucho hoy. acá. Okay, but let's start with the class tonight. Hello, Xiomara. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? I have a stressful because I have a, I will have a, a, a final exam tomorrow. Oh, okay, so let's see. Good luck, right? We are going to cross our fingers, right? <laughs> for, Thank you. <laughs> for you to get 10. We are going to pray tonight. Right? <laughs> for you to get 10 tomorrow. Very good look tomorrow, Xiomara. Go for it. You can do it. I'm sure that you can. Okay. So do you have any question about the platform exercises? What about section number four? Have you already finished that section? I have a problem, teacher. Oh, tell me, Yancy, what is your problem there? In which exercise? Um, I am going uh, to, uh, to open uh, the platform uh, and then uh, I say, uh, what is the problem? I I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember what is the but it's in section number but four. I have I have a problem. Is it in section number four? The section four. Okay, let's take a look of this. Say section number four. Mm. Here it is. Section number four, let's go with this. Okay. Now I have this exercise here. Write question to match the statements. Is, is this the section, Jancy? Yes, teacher. Yes, it is. Section. Okay. I remember, then... I remember that we saw this exercise, right? Here in the class. Yes. Podría, podría bajar, teacher, por favor. Number four. My sister, hair mm -hmm. is medium length. Okay. My sister, hair is medium length. What was the question? Do you remember? How long? How long is her is her hair? But it's impossible. How long is okay? Let's see how long is my sister's hair. 
Oh, no, it was incorrect. Teacher. Teacher is yours. Yours. Uh -huh. ah, ah, okay. How long is your? How long is your sister? Hey. Yo no. probé todo, todo probé y no sé. Me di por vencida. Teacher, así como la he escrito, la tengo yo y me sale buena. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's write it again. How, how long is your... Is no your, le ponga el, sim, el signo, el question mark. Ah, la probably. Uh -huh. okay. Sisters... How long is your sister hair? Probably the question uh -huh. mark. Let's try this again. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. It was the question mark. Como ya está acá arriba, por eso no nos lo acepta. Thank you, mm -hmm. Jacqueline. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help, all of you guys. So how long is your sister hair? That's the right answer. Jancy? Any uh, other problem? No, only, only problem. Only this problem, okay. Okay, what about the following exercise? About this listening part, have you already completed this part? Yes. Listen to the audio program and fill the gaps with the missing information. So I think Brian, do you remember the answer? Yes, yes, I remember. Okay, let's listen, let's listen, and then we're going to answer this question. Just to finish this part of the section number four. Just a second. Here we go, let's listen. Page 60, exercise four, listening. Who is it? Part A. Listen to descriptions of five people. Number them from one to five. One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Okay, I guess that is question one, two, and three. I think Brian's good looking. Okay, good looking is the ability like this one. He is pretty tall. Okay, he is pretty, pretty tall. He has that brown hair and mustache. 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 Yeah, let's listen to the second. The second just has two exercises. Two. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Three. Okay. Tina's 18. She's got... Red hair. Red hair. She has shoulder length hair and very... Curly. 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 Is it difficult to have curly hair? Causa problema ser colocho or no? Sí. Yes. Para peinarse. Ah, okay. <laughs> Mantenerlo peinado. The shampoo is more expensive to no? No. Depende. Pero andan siempre en los mismos precios. Solo si es sin sal, vale un poquito más. Ah, ok. En lo que sí se gasta más son en cremas y en tratamientos, porque si no, por gusto, con el pelo colocho. <risa> ok, qué difícil ser mujer en este tiempo. So... Mejor alisado. <risa> ah, ok. <risa> es mejor el cabello liso. Sí. Bueno, no se vayan a pelear aquí en la clase, mejor ya. No, no para que... peinarlo sí es más fácil. Okay, Jancy, do you have a question? Excuse me, teacher. Uh, 
Estoy tratando y lo mismo. How long is your hair? Y no me lo acepta. Probablemente sea por el apóstrofe en este caso. No, me no, no lo, estoy, no lo estoy poniendo nada. No hay que ponerlo. Let's finish this part and then we're going to come back to the exercise. Let's listen number three. Terminamos esta parte y revisamos el ejercicio, ¿de acuerdo? Vamos a hacerlo rápido. Sí, Curly, number three. Vamos por el número tres, so let's listen. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Four. Okay. So Rosie is... Rosie pretty tall. Pretty tall. Pretty tall for her age. Oh, for okay. Her es un poco alta para su edad. Para su edad. She has long brown hair. You see, long brown. brown. No, brown. The rubia. Blonde, rubia. Blonde. 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 Blonde hair. Blonde hair. Let's see. let's see here. And let's go with number four. Tim's about 23. And then? No, let's return this. Rephrase. Let's rephrase the page. Very slim. She looked. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. Five. Okay, which are the objectives? Tim is about 33. He is? Fairly short. Fairly short. Fairly, fairly short and a bit? Heavy. Heavy. Heavy, is it okay? Heavy. Then the last two questions. Alice very is short. very tall and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. And this part we use Betty. Page 60. Exercise 4. Very tall. Very, very tall. tall. Very tall. And in this one. She's around. Very slim. Very slim. 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 Okay. Bueno, si, si salgo mal, es culpa suya. Cha, 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 cha. Eh, solo, solo mosta y se está malo. Hay una mala. Ah, ok. Ya Esa ve, me sale no mal. Mustache. He has that brown hair and... La O está de más, teacher. ¿Really? No. Mus así, así. Ah, okay. Are you sure? Sí. Bueno, well, let's ah. try. Sí. Si la Veamos, o. teacher. Sí, si la O. Let's try. Yes. Ah, sí. ok. Gracias, Jacqueline. Ay, Thank you. Pero también me fui porque también le había puesto la O. Yo, yo le había puesto la O también. Sí. Ok. okay. Hoy sí va a tener 10. No, va a ir esa mosca. Section 4, please. 4, ¿cuánto es la Yolanda? Uh, Jans. Ok. Cuatro, me seis. queda la duda en esta palabra. Ajá. I'm Porque looking for both, this. And both, both are correct. So mustache and mustache. And both mean the same. Pero con That's ojos. Separate. 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 Uh -huh, Solo una opción sí. de respuesta. Está. Está sin O. Ok. Ok. Bueno, ya ni para agarrar copias. Estamos graves. 
<risa> Let's go with the previous exercise. Eh, todavía persiste el problema, dice Jansi. So look at this. Is how long is your sister hair? Your sister hair. Ahí hay un espacio. ¿eh? Le dio un espacio además. Sí. Bye. As, este apóstrofe se lo este. puso ya sí. Este apóstrofe fue clave. Solo, solo permítame que estoy ahorita otra vez. Con... Ah, lo que pasa es que este apóstrofe lo tiene que copiar directamente de, 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 de en Google. De la oración. Ajá. Porque si lo pone de la computadora, lo, lo pone como malo. O, o cruzado. No, lo puede poner con ah. al 39. Yo así lo pongo. Ah. Ajá, Hasta y sale bien. Let's try it. Ah, okay. ah. Hoy sí, teacher. Hoy sí, teacher. Repite, Jacqueline, please. Con al 39. Al 39, eh, quiero ver. Sí. Quiero ver. Quiero ver. Stay note, stay note. Ay, sí, sí cierto. Comprobado. Wow. <risa> Excelente, gracias. Ok, thank you. Thank you. So, Jacqueline, could you? Ok. <risa> thank you so much, Jacqueline. Y Jancy, could you, could you complete the exercise? Yes, teacher. I yes? complete the section, sí. Ah, okay, that's perfect. Thank you. Any other problem here? El examen final. <laughs> Resolvamos ya el examen final. The final no, uh, no, la otra semana. No. <laughs> <laughs> the next, the next week we are going to solve. Oh, I have your okay. chat. Es hacker, dice Rubén. Probably she is. We don't know. Oh. Okay, let's go with tonight's topic. Today we're going to study modifier, gerund, and preposition. So, do you know what is a gerund? What is a gerund? Yes, and e e e -G. Ah, okay. The gerund form of the verb are the same ing form, right? Like ing form. So tonight, tonight we're going to study a little bit about these modifier, gerunds, and preposition. So here we go. In this session, you will listen to a dialogue where two people use modifier with participles and preposition. Okay. Now let's take a look at this information here. Grammar focus, modifier with participles and prepositions. So look at this. Who's Raul? Imagine that you are um, seeing a group of people. Están viendo un grupo de personas. Y you are looking for Raul. And then you say, who's Raul? ¿Quién de todos ellos es Raul? So somebody say, he's the man wearing a green shirt. Le da una pista. Él es el hombre utilizando o vistiendo en este momento una camisa verde. Ah, entonces uh, ya lo identifica usted. ¿no? So this, mod, this is the modifier, the man. He's the man. He's the man wearing a green shirt. And wearing is the participle or the gerund. Which one is Raúl? He's the one talking to Liz. And this is another question. Right? Which one is Raúl? De todo ese grupo de personas, ¿cuál es Raúl? Which one? Which one is Raúl? So he is the one talking to Liz. Él es el que está platicando con Liz. So we can use participles to add information. Utilizamos los participios o los gerundios para agregar información, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, acá, who's, who's Jacqueline, por ejemplo. Who's Jacqueline? Oscar, do you have a question? No, just I think that the gerund is, is the action, uh, the action is happening in this moment, it's correct. Oh, yes, you're right. But in this moment, it is like an adjective here. 
it is uh, having the function of an adjective. La persona que está haciendo eso. The man wearing, usando, talking, hablando. Aquí lo vamos a utilizar como un adjetivo para describir, ¿verdad? A la persona que estamos buscando. So, who's Jacqueline en este grupo? Who's Jacqueline? And you say Jacqueline is the woman wearing a contact lenses. So, Jacqueline es la mujer que está usando lentes. Or you can say Jacqueline is, oh, sorry, she's, she's the one. Ella es la que. Who's Liz in the next example? Who's Liz? Quien es Liz? She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They are the people next to the window. Which one are the Smiths? They are the ones on the couch. So we can use preposition to. Podemos utilizar también las preposiciones para dar información extra ¿verdad? de las personas que estamos buscando. Who's Liz? She's the woman with short black hair. ¿Quién es Liz? Es la mujer con cabello corto y negro. Which one is Julia? She is the tall one in jeans. Es la persona alta usando jeans. Who are the Smiths? They are the people next to the window. Son las personas que están a la par de la ventana. Which one are the Smiths? They are the ones on the coach. So we can use the question who and also which one. Y si es plural, utilizamos who are and which ones. Which ones. So let's see the following information. Modifier is a word of group of words which specifies or modifies a noun or a pronoun. He's the man, he's the one. So you can say he's the man, he's the one, eh, he's the she's the woman, she's the one. Participle is the ing form of the verb. This is el participio de los verbos, la forma ing. We have here this example, dancing, wearing, standing, and talking. Preposition is a word which is used to show relationship between two persons, two places, and two things. With short black hair, in jeans, next to the window. Son las palabras que nos ayudan a relacionar. Decir, relaciones entre dos personas, dos lugares, o dos cosas. Look at these examples. Admar is the one and he is wearing black sunglasses. I have two sentences. Uh, Amat is the one. He is wearing black sunglasses. Then Amat is the one wearing black sunglasses. I put together. I put together these two sentences using the modifier the one and the participle here. Amat is the one wearing black sunglasses. A crane is the man. He is standing behind the coach. Two sentences. A crane is the man. He is standing behind the coach. So I need just one sentence. A crane is the man standing behind the coach. Do you have any question about this part? Questions? No. Okay. Uh, uh, sea que no estaría usando otra vez he is, sino que lo acorto. Así es, une las dos oraciones. Uh, you say, Amar is the one, the one wearing black sunglasses. Let's take a look at the following example. Maybe it's make it clear. Right? He's the man dancing in the living room. What is the modifier here? The. Ah, no, no, in. Oh, 
Okay, in this sentence, he is the man dancing in the living room. So the man is the modifier. Imagínense que yo ando buscando a, let's see, a Oscar, for example. You say, who's Oscar? ¿Quién es Oscar? He is the man dancing in the living room. En lugar de decir Oscar, digo, él es el hombre. He is the man dancing and here is the participle. Aquí está el participio, el gerundio, dancing. Que me ayuda a identificarlo. He is the man dancing in the living room. So let's see. Imagínense que yo ando buscando a Yolanda. Y yo digo, which one is Yolanda? O who is Yolanda? And somebody says, she is the one wearing a dress. This is the modifier and this is the Jeron or participle. She's the one wearing a dress. She's the Japanese woman with dark hair. En este caso estoy utilizando un gerundio o una preposición. Jeron or preposition. 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 I'm using a preposition. What is the preposition? With. With. With our, with. Okay. With. 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 Entonces utilizamos es el participio o la preposición para dar más información acerca de esa persona. She's the Japanese woman with dark hair. Es la mujer japonesa con cabello negro. Oh. He's the one in white pants. Ay, imagínense que ando buscando acá a Rolando. Who's Rolando? Y Oscar dice, he's the one in white pants. Él es la persona, ¿verdad? En pantalones blancos, in white pants. Rolando, do you like white pants? No. Ah, okay. <laughs> He's the tall person next to the window. Uh, let's see, for example, who's Jancy? Who's Jancy? He's, he's running away, teacher. He's running away. Okay. So, who's, who's Jancy? She's the tall person next to the window. Ella es la persona alta a la par de la ventana. So, do you have an equation about the Teacher, um, yes. Um, second sentence is dress. W S. Ah, okay. Thank you. Let me pick this. Okay, thank you so much. Questions, do you have any question? If not, let's take a look at some example here. So look at this small conversation. It says, hi, Raul, good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well. Why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. De todas estas personas que están acá, who's Julia? Who's Julia? She's the one using jeans. Okay. La que está a la par, la que está cerca de la ventana. La que está cerca de la Next ventana. To Next to the window. Okay. Entonces, let me. Teacher. Yes. And... It, it could be she's closing in the window. 
close and you, and in this case we can use near near the oh, window okay near okay thanks so is she julia no no she isn't is, julia have a jacket is she julia no no, no. is she julia Yes. 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 yes, yes, she is. Yes, yes she is. Okay, yes, ¿cómo yes. nos dimos cuenta que, es, que era ella? Is tall. Oh, veamos. Uh, in jeans. Is tall, I have jeans. Wearing glasses okay. over. You. Uh. Which one is she? Pregunta Raúl Julia. Which one is she? ¿Cuál es ella o quién es ella? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? And no, she's the tall one in jeans. So here is the modifier and a preposition. No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Okay, she's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Can you describe Julia? Puede utilizar algunas oraciones para describirla. Help me with that, please. Is she attractive? No, she isn't. She's gorgeous. Is she gorgeous? She That's she has long uh, black hair. Uh -huh. Okay, she has long black hair. Long black your, hair. Skin, your skin is pale. Okay, she has a pale skin. What about it? Does she have a dry hair? Yes. Is she wearing a jacket? Yes. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay, I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who went to practice tonight? Tengo a Rolando. Thank you, Rolando. And let me see. Rolando and Yolanda. Thank you so much. Rolando, uh, Yolanda, can you please start, please? Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, uh, she called. Couldn't. Uh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Thank you, Rolanda. Thank you, okay. Yolanda. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you, Rolanda. Excellent job. Thank you. Couldn't is the pronunciation of the word. She couldn't make it. Mm. Uh, I need another two volunteers who want to practice tonight in this small conversation. Jacqueline, thank you. And I have Jacqueline and Oscar, I think you are. Then we are going to listen to Suleyma and... Well, Suleyma and Stephanie. But primero Jacqueline and Oscar, después Suleyma and Stephanie, please. Can you please start, Jacqueline? Hey, hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and tell to Julia? She doesn't know any. She doesn't know any on here. Julia, which one is he? Is she? Is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the windows. I like it. I like to make her. That's it. Thank you so much. 
Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Oscar. Excellent job. Now let's send Suleyma and Stephanie. Suleyma first or me? Uh, Suleyma first, please. I'm sorry. Okay. Is, hi, Harold. Good to see you. Where's Magic? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to the corner with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go up and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone her Julia which one is she is she the woman wearing glasses over there no she's the tall wine jeans she's standing near the window oh I like to meet her thank okay. you thank you so much that was excellent thank you Suleyma and Stephanie any question about this conversation? If you don't have any question, let's have a practice. Let me see. Okay. Look at this group of people. And I am looking for John. He is John. So who is young in this group of people? Who is young? He is tall. So I, you can use two equations. Let's give me a second, I'm going to change the code. Here is, you can use the equation, who is young? He has, uh, sunglasses. Ah, okay. John is uh, he's the man wearing t-shirt white. White t-shirt. Okay, then you say John is the man wearing a wearing white shirt. T-shirt. T-shirts. A white t-shirt or shirt? Shirt. Shirt. Okay. Falta yes. shirt. G. Falta la G. Thank you so much. John is the man wearing a white shirt. John is the man wearing a white shirt. Um, pero hay otro chico con camiseta blanca. So, I... I am um, still confused. The glass, pants. in the glass. Black pants. Ah, y también el otro usa gente. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we can use this. Is the ball. Is the ball. John is, is the, the ball. It's ball. Ball. Is tall. John is the one. So you can use John is the one to John is the man or John is the one. John is, is the, the one, one wearing. Say contact. What is the other yeah, word? Contact. No, porque ambos lo usan. John is the one wearing contact lenses. Pero es, el otro de camisa blanca también usa lentes. También usa lentes. Es, okay. Es bold. Es calvo. It's bold. John Ball. is the one. Ball. John is the one. Then you can use with. With a ball. And black. <laughs> with pants. a ball. Oh. <laughs> Pantalones negros. John okay. is the one with a ball hat. Or you can use John is the one in black pants. pants. John is the one in black pants. So that is John. Now I am looking for Mary. She is Mary. Can you tell me some sentences to identify Mary? 
She's married. <coughs> Who's Mary? Uh, Mary is the woman. Yes. Wearing a uh, gray pants. Okay, is a Mary is the woman in which color did you say? Sorry. In Gray pants. Okay, excellent. In gray pants. Excellent sentence. So you say, Mary is the woman in gray pants. Teacher. Yes? Is it correct if I say some of them are wearing glasses? Some of them are wearing glasses. Yes, it's a good sentence. Okay. Teacher. It's, yes? It's covering. Uh, Mary is the woman using sweat sweat in the neck ah ok but eh, el verbo para decir que anda vistiendo es wear mm -hmm. so en ese caso sería Mary is the woman wearing a sweater over her shoulders ok mm -hmm. that, that is an option or you can say around. Around her neck. Around her neck. neck. Around her neck. That could be the sentence. Mary is the woman wearing a sweater around her neck. ¿Qué otra oración puedo utilizar para identificar a Mary de ese grupo de personas? You can also say Mary is the one. Mary is the one. one, is the one with short. With uh, skin light, light brown hair. Okay, with brown hair. And with, short. And with, no, sería, <laughs> sería light brown. And short. Porque lo tiene más clarito que la otra. And short. Light brown. <laughs> hair. Okay, Mary is the one with light brown hair. So is it easy or difficult to say these kind of sentences using the modifier preposition or gerund or participle? El participio de los verbos, which is ing form. Sure. Yes. In in this uh, sentence, um, is correct. Um, agregar. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Say agregar. <laughs> add. 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 Um, the the sentence. And Stay in Spanish, no problem. Tell me in Spanish. <laughs> Thanks, <didn't you? laughs> uh, Mary is la chica de cabello café y lentes. Oh, uh, okay. So you say Mary is the girl. The we can use this modifier to Mary is the girl wearing a contact lenses. ¿Cuál era la otra? Mary is the girl wearing contact lenses. And brown hair. And with brown hair. Okay. I'm sorry. The width is the last. Yes, so Mary is the girl wearing contact lenses and with brown hair. You can use this sentence. Is the is the pro the participio in gerundi? Okay, acá utilizaríamos el gerundi y acá utilizaríamos una preposición with. Okay. 
Thanks, teacher. Okay, any other question? Okay, let's go with the next exercise. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at the next picture. And you are going to tell me sentences. Now we are not going to write. So here we go. What is the next picture? Oh, sorry, that was the last one. I remember that put another one here. Uh, do you have any question about this topic? Is it easy or difficult? Is that fácil or is that difficult? Is is it clear or not yet? Okay. It's complicated. It's, it's a little bit complicated. A little, a little, more or less. Uh -huh. A little bit. Okay, let's come back to the platform and let's solve the last exercise in this section. So let's see if it is easy or difficult. So here is it. Can you see the platform? I am sharing with you my my screen, can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, now let's yes, take a look at this exercise. Choose the sentence using modifier with participle or preposition correctly. Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. What is cargo pants? That is a nice question. Clark is the tall guy wearing a borrowed down shirts and cargo pants. Okay, what do you think is the right answer? Cargo pants? How the are the pants one. that we call commando here, right? Uh, In Spanish, we say pantalones no, commando. Haciendo. Do you remember that kind of pants? Sí. Con yes. mucha bolsa I use Ah, I use sí. Aquí tengo uno todavía. Ah, that's great. Toca <laughs> color kaki. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are obsessed with that color. I can see. Y sí es cierto. La, la mayoría eran de esos colores como verde olivo, kaki, uh -huh. gray. Sí. En black. Tengo, hace poco me regaló yeah. mi hermano uno. Un verde. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Now let's see. Clark is the guy. He's wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. So we have two sentences here. We need to take one. We need is, is one. 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 One option. One. Clark is the toy guy wearing button down it's shirt beautiful. and cargo pants. Excellent. Yes. Number two. Yes, yes, Adam yes, and Rose wrong. are the good-looking couple. They are talking to Tom. I have two sentences. Adam and Rose are the good-looking couple. They are talking to Tom. The option one. Option one. Option one. Option one. Again, the first sentence. Adam yes. and Rose hey, are the good-looking couple talking to Tom. Okay. ¿Quién te dio el churro? ¿Quién te dio? ¿Quién te lo dio? La abuelita. Lorena, tiene micrófono encendido. Ok. Bueno, nunca le den churros al niño de Lorena. O niña. Oscar se lo está comiendo. <risa> <laughs> Lynn is the junkier. I, I love, I love the molita guy. Ah, ah, Oscar. Ay, qué rico. Yeah, it was, Ay, your, fault, una bolsa, it was your fault. This is my dinner. <laughs> really? Ya veo. Pero te mantienes en forma. That that his secret to be fit. <laughs> La más envidiosa de todas es Kenny. Yo sé que quiere, pero... Ah, no sé, sé, estaba obviando. <laughs> ok, guys, let's continue. Uh, line is the young girl. She's in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Number... The one option. Again, the one. It's ocho. Yes. Line is the young girl. Striped t-shirt and blue jeans. 
No, it's with S, the second, because it is she. Okay, the first one or the second? Lean is the young girl in a striped t shirt. The one. Oh, sure. the one. Number one, the right one. Number one. What is a striped t shirt? Any idea? Striped t shirt? Es como, aquellas ajustables, te apretan, es como, ¿cómo se llama? No, it, it has to do with the printed on the t-shirt, rayada, rayada. Una camisa rayada, una camiseta rayada. Number four, Jessica is the attractive woman. She's is sitting to the left of Antonio. Ah, is one option. <laughs> Number one again, Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Anton. Yes. First option. Do you agree with Jacqueline? Jancy, what do you have a question? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Por qué stripper strip eh, Eh, yo busqué el significado que es lo que hace algunos días hablaba con un compañero pero eso no es un, una preposición no, no, yo no considero que sea preposición porque eso es lo que cambia la, la opción oh, no, y al final no, no. si al final stripper strip Eh, casi significan lo mismo, pero no son preposiciones. No, mm, oh, en this sentence, a striped is an adjective. Es un adjetivo que está modificando al nombre t-shirt. Acá solo está funcionando como adjetivo y modifica al nombre t-shirt. Da una característica, ¿verdad? Que cómo es la camiseta. Acá el que está modificando la oración es, es sería in. Esa es la preposición. Pero la diferencia es básicamente radica en stripper o strip. Entonces, sí. este, uno es rayado y el otro es a rayas. Literalmente, según, según yo lo busqué, pero... Bueno, yo un poco eh, quería preguntar porque no es una preposición. Entonces, hace también algunos días en este en este en este nivel alguien dijo, "No, no hay que, es decir, no hay que tratar de eh, por ejemplo, gerundio es una cosa, participio es otra cosa en el idioma español y pues aquí es otra cosa." Pero en este caso, bueno, yo quería salir de la duda. ¿En dónde es que está la diferencia? ¿Por qué no uno ni el otro si al final el, la preposición sigue, es la misma? In a, in a, y lo único que varía, ahora que usted me explica qué es el adjetivo, pues entonces me queda claro. Pero no estamos hablando en este caso de una preposición, sino que de un adjetivo. Así es, Bae. si lo ponemos así, striped with ed, <risa> It means uh, an adjective. It's an adjective. A stripe is a noun. Eh, la palabra acá en la primera oración es un adjetivo modificando el siguiente nombre, que es camiseta. Y acá abajo está malo porque stripe es un nombre. Es que significa raya, raya. Y en plural, rayas. Para que sea adjetivo, tiene que ser con ed. Entonces, la correcta es esta, la número uno. But it's an adjective. Es un adjetivo en esta oración. Is it clear now, Yancy? Ahora sí. Muchas gracias. Ah, ok. Thank you. Number four. Ah, you say, you say number one. You say number one. And the last one. Number five. Just to Number one. <laughs> Again, number one? Yes. Yes. It says, AJ is the serious looking boy. He is listening to his new salsa That's a... CD. Yeah, number one. Number one? Mm -hmm. Okay. 20 de 20. Okay, let's see. Está pensando. I'm nervous. Ah. 
Okay, 34 at 34 points. Thank you so much. Do you have any question about this topic? This is the moment. No question, teacher. No question? I just think of yes. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> the moment, no, Entonces, solo, solo para refrescar lo que Yolanda preguntó. Entonces, en ED sí va a ser adjetivo. Si no termina en ED, va a ser nombre. Así es. En este caso sí, ¿verdad? La palabra stripe, así es stripe. nombre, significa ah. rayas. En el ejemplo estaba así, plural, entonces significa rayas. rayas. Como adjetivo se escribe así, stripe. 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 Básicamente, básicamente, teacher, eh, el contexto de la oración es la que dice todo. Según cómo mm. es el contexto de la oración, ahí entendemos si es un adjetivo o, o es nombre. O es nombre. Así es, bueno, en este caso lo identificamos rápido, que era un adjetivo porque él seguía un nombre, ¿verdad? Entonces, Sprite, ah, está modificando el nombre. It's an adjective. It's an adjective. Sprite t-shirt. Like this one. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So, don't forget that the modifier that you can use. These are the questions. Uh, who is he? Who is he? Or, or el nombre acá. Por ejemplo, who is John? Who is John? Who is, who is Oscar? Or you can use which one? Which one is John? Which one is John? Who is John? Or which one is John? So you can use this question. Who is Liz? Or which one is Liz? And then to answer the question, you say the one or the man or the woman you say john is the man y aquí agregamos verdad si vamos a utilizar un gerundio vamos a utilizar una preposición o usted puede decir john is the one john is the one y acá again la preposición o el gerundio por ejemplo John is the man in a blue t-shirt. Bueno, John es el hombre, ¿verdad? En una camisa, camiseta, so, t-shirt, blue t-shirt, and black pants. And black pants, that could be a good option. O usted puede decir, John is the one. John is the one wearing, uh, wearing a hat, for black example. Jacket. No, wearing uh -huh. a black jacket. So these are the questions. Who and which one? And you can answer is the man, is the woman, or is the one. Y acá vamos a la oración. John is the man in a blue t-shirt. En este caso, it's a preposition. John is the one wearing a hat. In this case, it's a zero. Or a participle, un participio. Any question? No question, teacher. Okay, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate your help. Thank you for your question. Those questions were very interesting tonight. So, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Okay, well done. Bye. Bye, teacher. I will. Justo right. tiempo te lo terminó. No, no fue. Ya me dio hambre. Look at that. Why, has another one. <laughs> has another one then. Bless you, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye.